Good morning, Pritzker violinist. It's Noah, and I'm going to take out my violin, and so should you. We're going to have ourselves a really great 8 a.m. class, aren't we? All right, here we are. I'm actually recording this virtually, so I'm actually recording this the day before. So it's actually, for me, Thursday night here. But you're going to be looking at this Friday morning, I hope, or maybe over the weekend. That's okay with me, too. We're asynchronous. That means we're not working at the same time. But we're still having a class anyway. All right. I took out my violin. Don't forget to rise in your bow. Tune your violin. I'm going to check my A to tune, and you can check your A against mine. Remember? If your A is too low, turn your fine tuner to the right, and if it's too high, turn it to the left. Now try your E. Match your E to mine. And try playing your A and E simultaneously. It should sound like a perfect fifth. It should have a nice ringing sound. All right, now your D. And here's the fifth, your D and A at the same time. You hear that ring? And now your G string. My G is too low. All right, now that we're all in tune, Let's warm up with our scales. All right, we're not gonna do all of our scales today. We've been doing every single one, which has been really great. But this time I'm gonna randomly pick which scales we're gonna do, so we don't have to do every single scale every single day. All right, today I wanted to do a A major scale, two octaves. I wanted to do a F major scale, and I want us to do our new B flat scale, all right? Um, and we'll also do G major as well, just because that's the key anaclina and minuet are in, okay? So G, A, F, and B flat, all right? Let's do G major. We're gonna do whole notes, so four notes in a bow. One, two, three, four, open G, ready, play. A, two, three, four, A, two, Three, four, B, two, three, four, C, two. All the way to your front, D string. Get ready to go to the A string. Here we go. Remember, low two. Fourth finger. Two, three, four, repeat the top note going down. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Don't rush, keep going, low two. G major scale, that was really good. Remember, low two on your A string and low two on your E string. Okay, let's take a look now at our A major scale. We're gonna do two octaves. <clears throat> so that's gonna start with your first finger on the G string. Remember, there's three sharps, three sharps. You've got F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Farmers call geese. All right. Let's do our A major scale, shall we? High three on the D string, all right? And high string on the G string, too. We're gonna do two half notes, okay? First finger down, ready, play. High three, open D. Get ready. 
three on the D string too, okay? High three. Keep going up. And now we go down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fourth finger. Go all the way across. Nice both feet, okay? High three coming up. Another high three, here we go. Alright, so we did G major, we did A major, next I said F major, F major has one flat, F major has one flat, so we're going to have low one, and we're also going to have a low two, so on the D and A strings, right? Alright, so we're going to start off with the second thing on the D string. Here's your introduction. We're going to do quarter notes, so four of them in a row, like this. One, two, three, four. Your turn, ready, play. Fourth finger. Going down. Very good. Okie dokie. We're on to B flat major. Two octaves. We're going to start with our low two on the G string. Low two on the G string. Going all the way up to our low four on the E string. This is our newest one. We just practiced this one. Alright. B flat. Two octaves. I'm going to help you out. We're going to do four notes. Here's your intro. <laughs> Third finger, open D, low one, low two, third finger, open A, low one, low two, third finger, low four, low one, low two, third finger, Low four, going down, low four, three, low two, low one, low four, third finger, low two, low one, open A, third finger, low two, low one, open D, Alright, now let's try to do our arpeggios in G major, A major, F major, and B flat. Remember, your arpeggios are the three notes to make your major chord. So, G major, we're going to play only our G's, B's, and D's. That's your G's, your B's, and your D's. So, skip the A, skip the C, skip the E, skip the F sharp, only play G. B and D. So this is what it's going to sound like. Alright, I'm going to do it slowly now with you, okay? G, second finger, D, third finger, B, Third finger, low two, going down. Third finger, first finger, third finger, open D, B, 
G. All right. Now I want us to take a look at our A major. So this time you're only going to play your A, your C sharp, and your E. So that means you're going to skip all the other notes besides A, C sharp, and E. So it's going to start with your first finger on your G string. We're going to do two octaves, all right? Here's what it sounds like. Try it. First finger, high three, and I'll cue you into the rest. High three. One. Open A. Low two. E. Third finger. Going down E. Low. High two. A. First finger. High three. but that's not what you're doing. All right, F major. So it's gonna turn on your low two. It's gonna be F, A, and C only. We're gonna do just one octave. This is your arpeggio for F major. This is what it sounds like, low two. A, C, F. So it's a short arpeggio. We can do that, right? Here we go. Low two, A, low two, Low one. Going down, low two, A, low two. Feel free to pause the video and practice that five times on your own. We're going to do B flat last of all. Uh, we're going to do just the top octave. So one, three, one, four. And remember, your one and your four are going to be low. Low one, three, low one, low four. Listen first. Only play B flat, D, and F. Let's try it together. Ready? Here we go. B flat, third finger, low one, fourth finger, low four. Third finger, low one. All right. How are you feeling? Warmed up? I know some of that might have been challenging. That's okay. It's okay if you don't get all the arpeggios right away. Just try practicing them on your own. And we're going to keep working on them. Cool. All right, good work. Now take out your sight reading book. We're going to move right along. All right, today I want us to take a look at lesson 43. Pitch side in our sight reading book. This is going to be mostly on the G string. First of all, let's try naming the notes, okay? Take a look at line one. I'll hold it up to the screen so you can see it, okay? Let's name the notes for line one. Ready? Go. C. C. D. D. C. C. B. B. C. D. C. B. B. C. D. C. I read that pretty quickly. You can probably take your time a little bit more reading that. But at this point, you've become quite excellent note readers, so I bet you can probably keep up with that tempo as long as we play it a little bit slower than that, yeah? How about that? Alright, okay, let's try line one. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Kiddos, I have a challenge for you. Try doing that same line again, and this time, let's see if you can use your fourth finger and play it all on the G string. How about that? <laughs> what a notion. Let's try it, okay? Try to use your fourth finger instead of open D. Let's see if you can do it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Really, well 
well done. All of that. Line two. Let's read the notes. I have E, E, D, C, B, B, C, D, C, G, E, C, B, B, C, C. Line two, nice and slow. This time we're going to have two strings, D string and G string. All right, remember, no sharp, no flats. Nice and slow. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> even while we're doing sight reading to check that you're holding your bow properly and making sure that you are um, having a good posture on your violin. You never want to lose that, uh, track of that even when you're doing something like sight reading. Alrighty, we're going to take a look at line three now. You're doing really great. Keep it up, kiddos. Alright, line three. C, E, G, E. Hey, that's a C major arpeggio. Look at that. C E G. C E G E. Alright, let measure two. D C B B D C B D C B D C. C. Alrighty, let's try line three all together. One, two, Three, four. Are you seeing patterns? Are you recognizing patterns when you're playing? For instance, the first three notes in the second and third measures were the same. D, C, B. Try to find patterns. The more you're able to recognize patterns and phrases, the quicker you're going to be as a sight reader. All right, let's take a look at line four. Line four starts this time with your G, which is going to be on your D string. Ready? G, G, A. G, D, E, D, C, B, D, C, C, D, G, E, C. All right, let's try it. Line four. One, two, three, four. Measure make me think of. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Alright, let's take a look at the last line. You're almost done with sight reading for today. You're doing really good. You're eating all your vegetables and chewing and swallowing too. <laughs> Alright, line five. Let's name those notes. C. E. G. E, D, B, D, C, D, G, C, C, B, D, C, C. It's kind of noodly. It goes all over the place. But notice that the first measure was the same as the first measure of line three, right? It started with your C major arpeggio. Do you see that now? Yeah? 
good pattern skills, you'd make a good detective. All right, let's use our third finger on the fifth line. Here we go, one, two, three, four. I'm going to move on to our Ina Kleiner, but if you need another minute to go over any of those lines again, or you just want to go over it and repeat it, just to become more familiar with it, feel free to pause the video, and I'll be waiting for you whenever you're ready to keep going forward. You're doing really great work. All right. Take out your Ina Kleiner. It's Mozart time. <laughs> okay. I've got my Ina Kleiner knock music in front of me. I hope you do too. So, so far in the videos, we've gone over sections A, B, and C. So that takes up up to measure 25. So today, the hope is that we can reinforce the work we did on C, and then try to play it from A all the way through the end of C. So the next week, we can go slugging right into D. Sound good? We're going to do some review of C today. All right, so remember... The rhythm here at C is going to be long note, short, 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 long note, short, 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 short. It's like you're waiting really lazily and you're in bed and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I gotta run to school, I'm late, right? Alright, so I'm running late for school, gotta catch my bus, it's not enough time, okay? And then uh, the first note of each of those two measures is going to be SF, SF means suddenly, forte, sforzando is the word for that in Italian. Suddenly, you can imagine the S is for suddenly, and F for forte, loud, suddenly loud, and then really quiet. I'm running late for school, running late for school, I've got to get the bus. And so then, in measure 20 and 21, as you see, we've got those dashes through each of those notes. Do you see those? I'll just show you what I mean. Right here. Where's my hand? Right? Those dashes? So those dashes uh, mean that you play each note twice. Sort of like when we did our A major scale today. Right? Except it's going to be fast. So the notes in 20 are D, D, E, F. So I played each of those notes twice. So the notes from 20 and 21 are D, D, E, F, G, A, B, C sharp. Let's try playing those four notes. Oh, that's the other thing that's worth noting. There's a C sharp. That means we've got our high two on the A string. Remember before we had low two on the A string, high two on the D string? Well, guess what? Now we have low two on the E string, high two on the A string. How about that? All right. So here's measure 20. Alright, let's try that again. Remember, crescendo means it gets louder and louder and louder. So as you go higher, just think louder. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, let's try going from the very top of C. I'm running late for school. Here's my tip for that measure, measure 18. Try to do fourth finger instead of open A so that that way you don't have to cross the string. As I mentioned last time, you can cross the string, but it's gonna look like this. Did you see how my bow was like That's gonna be more work for you. It's an easier, it's easier workout for you if you just do three, four, four, two. That way it's all in the D string. You don't have to move around to the A string and back again. So that's still a low two right there. And then the, the high two doesn't come in until measure 22. So same thing. Alright, 
So measure 20, let's make sure that we don't rush through it. Measure 21 now. All right. Long, short, bum, ba dum, ba dum. Okay, let's come up with some words though. Let's say. Lunch is coming out right now. It's coming out. It's time to eat my lunch. It's time to eat my lunch right now. Lunch is coming out right now. It's coming out right now. It's time to eat my lunch. It's time to eat it now. It's kind of like a, a trumpet fanfare. Imagine like the king is coming into the throne. It's a really exciting event. So just really imagine that you're a trumpet boy. Yeah? Uh, all right. Let's try it. Make sure that each note is nice and clear and distinct. Remember the day when I taught you how to play the shofar calls on the violin? It was uh, Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. That was back in, I think, September, was it? It was the beginning of the school year. Yeah, remember how to, how the ram horn sounded? It's going to be sort of like that. Like you're calling someone into attention. Same spot, 22. So it's worth noting that the, the way that you would subdivide that, if you were to count the rhythm out, would be 1, 2, and 3, and a 4, and a. Yeah? 1, 2, and 3, and a 4, and a. Um, but we're not gonna, maybe not do that right now. We're just gonna internalize the rhythm. I, it's time, time to eat my lunch right now. It's time to eat my lunch. It's time to eat my lunch. It's time to eat it now. Yeah? All right, let's see if we can go all the way from the beginning of C. I'm running late for school. Gotta catch my bus. Check it out. Let's do it uh, three more times, let's say. We're going to do all the section C three times. Three times. Three times. You can do it three times. And then you'll be a lucky winner. C, W. It's a winner. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Here we go. Time, shall we? Don't rush. Let's take it nice and slow. Maybe a little bit slower than that so they have time to read all the notes. pretty slow, but I think it's good to try things slowly sometimes. Then when we play it at a faster tempo, it's going to sound really, really, really good. We want it to be really clean. Alright, here we go. Same thing. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Something to note, we're playing a lot of three and two over and over again in measures 22 to 24. It's really important that you're getting those fingers right on the tape every single time 
when we're lifting them and putting our fingers right back down. Three, a, two, a, three, a, two, a. It's worth going over just that part nice and slowly just to really make sure that you're landing them crisply on the edge of your finger beds. All right. Let's go from the very top. Let's see how we do. Going from A all the way through the end of C. All right, let's see if we can put it together now. A five, six, seven, eight. Down, down. Hook your notes. Low two on the A string. High two on the D string. On to B, up bow. Hook your notes. Short. Short, short, up bow again. Moving on to C, suddenly loud. Crescendo. The king is here. Except that last part. Not bad at all. All right, you're doing great progress. All right, let's do a really quick run through of minuet to end today. All right, take out minuet one. Three, 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 down, up, up, one, a, one, three, a. We're gonna just try to run it through all the way through just to make sure that we're still keeping it in our repertoire. Nimble in our fingers. One, two, three. Low two. Fourth finger. Repeat. Down, up, up. High two on the A string now. Two, three. Low two. Four finger. Rep E. Okay. Four finger. High two. Crescendo. Load ear. Very good. All right. Thank you for helping me teach you.